Okay, so we're going to cut this area in here. Um, I, I'm going to call it the valley of the part. There's some real challenging um, geometry in here. We've got nice square corners here, which makes me think that, oh, I can use a half inch end mill and I can just do everything with it. It's nice square corners. But then I've got this eighth inch radius and I've got a 50 thou radius in there. So, a couple challenges. That's not too bad, though. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make those tools. I know I'm going to need them. I'm going to Tool Manager, Copy and Paste, the um, half inch flat end mill. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to make sure we don't have end mill sh sharing the same number. I'm going to go in here, uh, change the type to a bowl end mill. Add 05 radius. I guess it didn't keep the diameters, so I'm going to adjust those. I'm just going to throw some numbers in here. You're going to look them up in the catalog to make sure you got them right. Okay. Oops. One thing I forgot was the name, the most important thing. Bull end mill. You have to make this uh, one also. So those numbers are okay, except we know we've got to switch it to a bull and so it, that's it's losing them, those numbers when we switch it to a bull end mill, which is okay. Half inch, half inch. Corner radius is 0.125. Oh, and of course I forgot the name again. And you want to come up with names that are, you don't have to go into the file, you just look at them and you'll know what they are. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no repeats. And let's say, okay. So, first thing I'm going to take a whack off at this level from the outside to the inside then I'm going to take a whack off at this level from outside to inside and then I will work with these radii okay so first things first we're going to introduce a new type of, um, of machining operation called pocket you get a wireframe C plane and pocket can either be a closed form uh, in, in a simple a simple way it can be a closed form where you machine everything inside the pocket or you can select two forms two lines um, or I guess two chains one inside the other and that will say machine everything between those two that's gonna work really well here so we're gonna select two two chains so I'm gonna select this chain because if I selected this chain it would go right up to the edge of the previous machining operation and uh, probably leave a big old burr there. So I'm going to select this guy. It's a little bit outside. It's going to machine over the top. That's fine. And then I'm going to select this guy is inside. And I'll machine between those two circles. So the tool, regular old half inch end mill holder, cat 40 or 32 cutting parameters. When you're doing pocketing, it understands climb and conventional, so I'm going to use climb. I'm going to leave nothing on the walls. These pocket types will, um, we might get into remachining later. Uh, open is if you have an open uh, side of your pocket where you want to go out, kind of like facing in, in one direction. It's, it's really neat, but not what we're doing right here. Okay, so we're going to do uh, standard roughing. We're going to do a parallel spiral because this is a round part. A spiral uh, really lends itself to it. Entry motion, we're going to use a helix. And um, the default um, defaults are kind of strange in, um, in Mastercam. Um, I'm going to set 0 and 50%. Uh, one of the things that's really great about helix entries is they leave lots of room for the chips to eject but if you make a helix that's so big it leaves a post in the middle then all of a sudden you're just slotting and that's not a very good way to enter so you want to make um, I, I like to use a minimum radius of zero maximum radius of 50. 
finishing. I'm going to take one finishing pass, 10,000 deep. Depth cuts, always use depth cuts. It's easier to use depth cuts than to not use depth cuts because if it doesn't need them, it won't use them. And I'm going to put one finishing pass on the floor because we've got this flat surface that we're going to machine. It's going to be a finished surface. No breakthrough. Definitely want to make sure breakthrough's off. No breakthrough whenever you're machining down to a flat surface. A linking parameters. Let's go out here and grab something cleanly. Now, I want to be really careful not to grab here because there's so much stuff in here. I want to go up here and grab, um, grab that feature where it's not near everything else. It's really easy to grab the wrong thing. Okay, so top of stock. It is that is the wrong height. We want this is the top of stock and feed play and retractor okay let's make sure that our coolant is on okay that looks um looks reasonable i tilt it i i do my best to remember to always take a look at my um tool paths when they're generated do they look reasonable um looks like it's uh, the final full tool paths are at this height that's that's the most important thing to me I don't see anything else that jumps out as to me as bad. Now, um, in other videos I would have been uh, verifying, but this looks good to me. And uh, to save time, I'm going to skip the verify on this uh, for a couple steps later. Now, um, here is an instance where we can save some time. We're going to copy, and we are going to paste this op. And what we're going to do is just rechain it. We only have to. If we copy and paste, we just have to change the things that changed. We don't have to do everything from scratch. So I'm going to rechain all, and we're going to cut down to the surface. So this is a, that's the outer. Here's the inner. And say OK. I'm going to go to the parameters. Um, OK, so I am. Uh, Cut parameters. I'm um, going to use this is all fine. Roughing, parallel spiral, depth cuts, all the same. Uh, the linking parameter depth is different for sure. So there you can see that, that circle light up. Minus 1.4. And coolant's on. And notice I don't have the option, or wait a minute, I do have the option. Where is it? The tool. Here's the option of the tool. Make sure I have the right tool. Now, later on, we get the radii. Um, it's going to be important that we keep an eye on that tool. This, for this one, the half inch is going to be okay. And um, because we change those, change those uh, different tool path parameters, we've got to regenerate that dirty op. Okay, so that. Let's see if we can kind of take a look at that. Now I am squinting and pretending like I can see it perfectly, but I can't. Um, these bottom cuts look like they're about that that height we'll figure out later if I'm right um, like, like before just to save time I'm gonna not verify that now here's where it gets uh, a little more challenging um, here I can take that bull end mill and I can just whack across at this plane height and I'll get that radius it'll be fine here I cannot and what what will happen is I'll get this radius here I'll get a radius over here as well now when I cut this one, I cannot do the same thing, or I, I can, but I'm going to have to go clean it up. So I'm going to, um, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to go clean up this surface here with a square end mill, and that will avoid a tool change. A tool change not the end of the world, it's just a few seconds on the machine, but um, it, it does save time. And um, so what I'm going to do the next step is I'm just going to cut this, this floor here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from this radius here. So I'll do another cop copy and paste. Let's rechain those. And now I could save this. Um, I might be able to save some one chain or the other, but I, I don't even bother. It's easier just to rechain both of them. So C plane wireframe. There's one circle. And then you can see here's the other circle that stays away from that uh, radius. There you go. So I'm going through this fast, but hopefully you'll see that it's the same. I'm just doing the same thing over and over, just looking at each, each individual feature and thinking every time you get a think. So parameters, um, 
what's the difference? The difference is going to be linking parameter depth. That's it. And here's an easy to grab feature that's out in the middle of um, everything, and it is, doesn't have 10 other features sitting on top of it, so it's easy to grab. So I'm going to grab that. There we go, and let's regen that dirty operation. Okay, so now we've cut everything except for this step and these two radii. And that is okay. So now we're going to go, let me turn off the, there we go, turn off all those tool paths. So let's uh, focus on this guy here. So I'm going to do a tool path. This one's going to be a contour because I don't want to go out way, way into the middle of this part. And a contour, C plane, C plane wireframe. Pick up that line. Okay. Tool path. Let's make sure we get the right one. The 50 thou. That's the 50 thou radius. Get the right holders. Cat 40 ER32 as always. And then uh, these are the leftover parameters from doing contours in the past. They were right last time. They're right this time. Depth cuts look reasonable. Um, lead in, lead out. Um, it's fine. No breakthrough. Multi passes. Um, one finish pass is good. And then the depth will be. There it is this depth. And top of stock. Now we have we spent a lot of time actually removing material from this height, from this height, and this height. And we actually could have saved some time cutting air by thinking about this. But now we know that um, this is the height. This guy right here. This this flat plane here is the height that we're gonna hit over here. So I am going to. And how do I know that? I know that by just in my head thinking about the order of the operations. So I'm going to select that is my top of stock. And if in doubt you can set, set it up really high. It's just going to take longer to cut. You're going to spend a lot of time cutting air. If in doubt, um, go in the verify. Watch it. Watch it slowly. It's um, and it, it depends. Sometimes you can spend an hour in CAD saving two minutes on the machine. And If that's the case, just let it run the most conservative way you know how. So coolant on, Stay OK, and nothing. That's not a good sign. I'll look back and just make sure my make sure that this coordinate system is on. It's usually, oh, there we go. That's that's the problem. We're cutting the wrong side. So what um, I'm gonna do is we're gonna rechain. Oops, that's the wrong. I'm gonna back plot. I'm gonna rechain. I got. I didn't choose carefully enough, so I'm gonna change side and I'm going to change direction reverse chain uh, did that in an earlier video um, you can see it's it's real easy to undo that problem now this does look like it got really close to this section over here and it's probably going to gouge the part let's go parameters and that is on the lead in lead out and so what I'm going to do we have a this is the straight section and this is the arc that makes let's straight section arc. So I want to knock up the straight section, so I'm going to change that length to zero. This is just easy as could be. A lot of numbers here. You'll actually see, here's the length and in percent and then linear distance. It's It looks like you have to fill out two things, but it's actually it's the same thing in two different units. So OK. Now it's a dirty operation again because I changed something. And let's uh, clean up the dirty operation. That looks fine. Okay, so uh, next one more op, and we will be done here. We have to do the same thing, but for this radius with a different tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this op. So now I'm going to have to rechain this, rechain it to there. Okay. okay. Um, actually, before we say that, okay, let's. Pick that up. Let's find out which direction it's going. Let's not mess that up this time. So that's actually going the right direction. I got lucky. I was lazy on that one. And parameters. We're going to, have to first thing pick the different tool with the different radius. Holders good. Cut parameters will be fine. Lead in the depth cuts. All that stuff's all fine. Lead in still got zeros. That's good from last time. Depth parameter will be different. So let's go find a. A feature that we can select very easily. There you go. 
and um, top of stock top of stock will be very low it'll actually be this high so that'll save a little bit of time cutting there coolant turn that on okay and then let's regenerate that dirty up and you can see it just makes a makes a cut and a finished pass and in fact it only makes it the correct height which is uh, fine here actually we should look it makes me a little curious. I would have thought that would add a finish pass cut. I do. Oh, but it's an eighth inch. It's not ten thou. Let's do a ten thou cut. And regenerate that. And now you can see we get some extra cut lines in there. Okay, so we got a whole pile of operations here. I mean this is this is really a pile of them. So let's go and I think we cut from five to oops. Misclick there. Five. I'm gonna shift click to ten. Let's see. I do not have the bullnose cut here, so I'm gonna go and open up my latest file. Make sure I have that. Okay. There's my bullnose cut. Okay. And let's cut this thing. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it looks like I'm redoing that bullnose. That's fine. It's uh, let's just let's just make sure we understand this. So, the bullnose cutter, what it just did was recut this feature because I selected one too many, um, one too many tool paths. That's okay. Okay, here we go. And let's um, stop it at the right. Oh, we'll do it next time. Um, so that looked fine. Cut the, cut the top feature here. Oh, I'm going to try to catch this for you on the video there. See how much room we've got in that helix? The default helix will leave a post in the middle. This one leaves lots of material for your coolant to flush chips out of there. It's real nice. And there it goes, continuing to cut. Now we're getting closer. We're to the step on the inside. And I see we're cutting lots of air there. That's that's we're gonna spend time on the machine for no reason. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. And this one we are just clearing out um, chips, and we are, we will come clean it up later with uh, the two radius cutters next. So now there you can see we got there's our 050 radius, and the next one will come in here and cut the the eighth inch radius. I'll zoom in so we can see it a little easier. There you go. So that whole valley's cut out. Let's uh, think about what we've got done here. We've got contour. We've got these steps. We've got this ridge here, this ridge, the flat section, two radii. This outside of this bore, uh, this boss is all done. So. Um, Next up, I think we're gonna hog out the the bore here. Leave a little bit of meat on the on the part so you can finish bore it at a later time, and then uh, go out and uh, drill all these holes out. But we're getting there. It's uh, lots of progress. It's starting to look like a real part.